Hi there. Now, for years, we've been told, haven't we, to use sun cream to protect us from the sun. But now, in a groundbreaking study, scientists have claimed that it's not as reliable way to prevent us from getting skin cancer, even if we're wearing a high factor. Yeah, we're joined now by Kelly Cook, who was diagnosed with skin cancer when she was 19 years old, despite always wearing factor 30. And our health editor, Dr. Hillary, is alongside her. Uh, Kelly, um, you know, you live by the seaside. Yep. So you're exposed to the sunshine in, 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 in sort of quite um, a sort of a, a virulent sun as well when you're by the sea. It's always a bit brighter. Yeah, yeah. But you'd always been very careful about putting suntan lotion on. Yeah, really careful. I mean, I'm really fair. So as a kid, my parents, grandparents, everybody used to put sun cream on me, factor 30, make sure I didn't burn because obviously, like I said, I'm really pale. Mm. So it's easy mm. for me to burn quite easily. So what was your reaction? And how did you discover you had skin cancer? And what was your reaction when you found out? Um, I had a mole on my back. And it started to scab and started to bleed. Went to the doctors. They said not to worry about it. Oh, but you have to be obviously quite persistent. So I kept going. And then they took it out for me as soon as I got referred over to dermatology. Sent it off. I uh, had a biopsy as well from my, under my arm because it spread to my lymph nodes. Oh, gosh. Um, so they said to me straight away that it's melanoma and that I need to have it cut out. And then 10 days after that, I went up to the Royal Marsden in Surrey and had a three-day stay there and had uh, all my back cut open and all under my arm and had all my lymph nodes removed and things like that. So how are you doing now? Yeah, I'm okay now. I'm, I'm two years in remission now. I've yeah. got another three years that I have to be really, really, really careful. Um, but yeah, so I'm always using sun cream now. This is a game, isn't it, Hilary? Because Kelly did everything right. Yeah. Well, there's no such thing as sunblock. Um, we can use sunscreen, uh, but as we've known for some time, if you don't uh, apply enough, if you don't reapply it, uh, and you rely on it too much so that you think, I've got sunscreen on, I can lie out in the sun all day long, you're still at risk of developing skin cancer in the future because all the time the ultraviolet light is damaging your, your skin's you DNA. Burn? And, and, and I can understand if you didn't reapply it enough, thinking, oh, I've got sunblock, I'm fine. But she never burnt. No. And we are told, aren't we, that a little bit of sunlight is quite good for us, so it's confusing. We don't need much to produce vitamin D in the skin. 20 minutes on a, an average day is okay. enough. Um, however, when people deliberately go out to lie in the sun on holiday, in strong sun, the hottest times of the day, there's a, a huge uh, amount of ultraviolet radiation hitting the skin cells. And in time, that can damage the DNA, which leads to cancerous change. Even if you're not burning? Even if you're not burning. Wow. 